All right, next on is um, Sarah, who is going to talk to us about, in terms of the, the roof over our heads, our worth or purpose for our families. And the specific topic she's going to talk, about, talk on uh, now will be uh, the values of generational families. So let me just go and unmute you this, uh, Sarah. Uh, you now unmuted. You can go ahead. On, on my side, you're unmuted. Uh, sorry, I didn't, uh, Sarah, yeah. Let's just check Sarah. Sarah, just unmute on your side. Yeah. Okay. Okay, all right. Um, thank you very much, Coach, and again, good evening to the rest of the team. Um, I'll be taking you through the values of a generational family. And um, just for ease of what I'm going to share, I'd like to... Um, refer you back to legacy uh, book because some of these values are actually in the book as well. So I'd encourage you to read chapters four, um, chapter five, and chapter nine. Um, the particular pages on that. I know you have the book, you've read it, but just for refresher in this particular segment, chapter four would be page 66 to 84. Chapter five is page 104. And chapter nine is pages 188 to 189. Um, it also speaks about the values of a generational family. Um, you know, I, I looked again at the definition of, of what values are. But when we talk about values, we talk about principles of standards of behavior um, or one's judgment of what is important in life. Of course, it differs from one person to another. But as a generational family, there's a certain type of values that embody who and what we become as that particular family. Um, a point that I want to make here is that it's very important to have clear values because those values will minimize conflict within the family. So these are values that um, you, of course, you want to share, not just uh, personally, but you want to share with your kids. You want to share it with your family. And I mean, if you can also just put them up so that they become um, clearly defined values. Examples of values, I'm just going to name a few, but the one that I really want to uh, focus on tonight is really on developing a positive attitude. Um, so one of the values, for example, that you can put up um, or, or discuss is to say, in this home, everyone has a voice. Um, that is a value that you can embody to live by. Um, another value um, you would say, no member of a family can bulldoze another to accept his opinion, basically creating an environment where um, you know, people or family members or your children know that they can have an opinion of their own. Another value is, of course, to do the right thing. Another value is honesty, <laughs> which you, you, you live by and you also teach um, those who are part of your family. Um, another value is transparency. The one value that I really want to focus on tonight as I go towards the, the, the end is the value of developing a positive attitude. Um, that for me is very key at the moment because we are walking that journey um, with my children as well, um, helping us to understand that a, a positive attitude is developed. And the word developed is an important word. It's actually an operative word because a positive attitude is um, developed. Um, so what I said also here is that um, attitude is the main thing that affects everything that we do. An attitude is either in the way or working, it is in the way and working against you if it is a negative attitude, or it is making a way and working for you if it is a positive attitude. And you determine which road it takes every day. So uh, as we know that the, the generational families that we are building are not victim families, are not families that are subject to circumstances, but these are families that create a particular legacy and overcome obstacles because of the attitudes um, which they choose to develop. I want to recommend a book because I want to end with a quote that I'm going to take from this book on attitude. Um, this is a book called Attitude Changes Everything, and the author is Sam, Gl Sam Glenn. It's really a very brilliant book um, to read. And so I just want to read a portion of what he actually writes about and something that really struck me. In fact, we even shared it with the children during our devotions last week. And uh, I just felt that I wanted to share this particular point as um, my conclusion 
in building the value of developing a positive attitude. So he says, the value of putting, making your attitude a priority is that you make it work for you. And it ends up taking you in a better direction. Every day, we are going to face new adversities, challenges, less than nice people, and experiences that will test the strengths of our attitude. Now more than ever, developing better emotional management skills is essential to life and the workplace. And then I wanna highlight what I'm about to say now. Your attitude is your choice. You own your attitude. You are responsible for it. And since you are the owner of your attitude, you are also responsible for the results, the outcomes, and the stories your attitude creates. The bottom line is this. You are responsible for the way you act, no matter how you feel. And that's just what's in my heart that I wanted to share. Thank you, Coach.